Hi, my name is Ben and welcome again to the Canyon Country Discovery Center. We're here today to show off one of our favorite activities that you can do here as well. And I love today's topic. Today we're going to be talking about explosions. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? And to start off, we're going to show you a diagram here and talk about some science. Let's get to it. All right, so in the center here is where we're going to start. All star formation starts in a nebula or a star forming location. Nebulas are basically giant clouds of gas and dust. And inside these clouds, particles begin to pull together and form together. And if they can become large enough, they'll actually do something really cool. And that is the center becomes hot and really dense and it starts fusing. All stars start by fusing hydrogen into helium. This process is really amazing in that it releases a lot of energy. Our sun is burning, is currently fusing hydrogen into helium right now in this moment. And that energy comes to Earth and provides us with energy we need to survive. We would freeze if this process didn't work the way it does. And the process is really cool. However, as you may have guessed, the, a star doesn't have an unlimited amount of hydrogen to burn on. Instead, eventually it'll run out of hydrogen, but never fear, it'll just start fusing helium. And, but it, as you guessed, it will eventually run out of helium too. When a low mass star ends up with a core made out of carbon, that's pretty much the end for that star. It, as it lose, as loses material to fuse, that material expands outward and it loses density. And eventually the star can't hold on to its mass anymore and layers just puff away. This creates a new nebula, which we call a planetary nebula, which, is really, which are really pretty to see. And in the center of this, you'll have a white hot coal, we call a white dwarf, left over, just cooling down slowly over the eons. Now this isn't the death for, uh, for all stars. Some stars start out large enough that they have the density and the heat to fuse into larger elements. These are our high mass stars and they're beautiful to see and they, do, they have an ending that's slightly different than our other, th other stars. They too begin to fuse hydrogen, uh, but they have a different ending. As they fuse, they will fuse up to the element iron. Iron is the death metal for these high mass stars. As iron bil builds up in their core, fusion stops. Iron is very stable. And as fusion stops completely and their core is made out of iron, in less than a second, the whole star collapses in on itself. And then, due to some nuclear forces, it expands outward once again, creating what we call a supernova, the largest explosions that we have in our universe. This is an amazing process, and we have much to thank to supernovas. All elements higher than iron are created through supernova. As the iron from that core expands outward once again, it's heated and gains much of the, a lot of energy and it fuses into higher elements. And once again, as you may have guessed, all of the leftover matter from the supernova is once again turned into uh, a nebula, a place where stars can begin and planets can be born, much like our own. Now, let's go ahead and get to our activity. To, our activity today is, for, uh, thanks to the NICE Network, they sent us all the materials for this, so we do have to give them the credit for this. Um, can't wait for you guys to uh, have some fun with this as well. Let's get to it. All right, here we are at our activity, and we're going to create our own star today. Now, basically, we have our nebula right here, and we're going to use a little help from our handy dandy hair dryer and we're going to see if we can't gather this material together and see what we can form. After, after a determined amount of time we'll see if we gathered a small amount of matter and not enough 
will have created a gas giant. Think of Jupiter. That's down here. If we can reach up to this ring, then we'll have created a low mass star, enough density to start fusion. If we reach up here, then we'll have created a high mass star that will eventually create a supernova. All right, let's go ahead and test it out and see what we can do. Ready? Go. All right. Okay. Let's take this off here and see just what we were able to create. Oh, I didn't make it. I didn't make it to a low mass star. So I created a very large gas giant, but I didn't quite have enough density and pressure to begin fusion. We'll see if you guys can do any better when you guys come. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you guys next time.